Hi everybody, this is a review for the 18 piece Goso lockpick set. Uh, it comes in this um, kind of folding uh, case, nice and thin, plastic with a kind of canvas um, outer uh, kind of seam to it. Have a look inside, um, it's all kind of all the picks are held quite nicely in place there. You can tell it's cheaply made, but uh, I, I quite like that. It's, uh, it's nice and flat and uh, only weighs 6 ounces or 170 grams. Um, probably the first thing you notice about the picks is how shiny they are. Certainly is the first thing that uh, caught my eye. But if you like shiny things, you're already, already ahead. Um, so it is 18 pieces, including these two uh, tensioning tools. There's these, one of these tweezer type things that I've never used. And one of these kind of um, Z types, just like hammered um, piano wire type thing. You also got a um, key extraction, broken key extraction tool. Um, Quite, it's a bit on the thick side, so you might need to kind of thin that down. But it is, it's pretty sharp. Uh, the rest of the the kit is a selection of uh, rakes and hooks, as you'd expect. Now I'm going to take out the ones that I would like to use. So a W rake, and a slightly smaller W rake, just, uh, two and three. Peaks. There's a long rake, um, possibly this one. I don't know what this is called. This one. It's a kind of um, variant on the long rake. Um, I've not tried using one of those before, so let's see how we get on. Um, standard hook and a similar uh, standard hook. We've got a um, kind of half diamond, it's a little bit thick again up there, it seems to be a, a trait in a particular manufacturing process with these. I've actually got two of those, it was uh, slightly bigger than the other. Um, left in here you've got just a variety of kind of occasional use um, tools. These kind of square ones um, I've never found a use for these, nor have I seen them actually used by other people, so um, I guess you could file them down to other uh, sort of more rounded hooks. Now the uh, the finish is pretty, yeah, it's pretty, pretty raw, I would say. Um, I'm feeling the, the sharp edges there with the definitely benefit from uh, some work. The uh, the handles are, you've got three uh, bits of metal sort of sandwiched together and just kind of drilled through and um, I guess that's a kind of rivet holding it together. Um, in terms of thickness, let's uh, do some comparisons. The uh, calipers here. I'm going to do this in uh, in imperial measurements because that's what we're familiar with. So you can see that it's uh, sort of 20, 24, 25 of an inch. Um, for comparison, this is a uh, Southord slimline, and that is. Uh, 22, it's a bit thinner uh, than the, the Goso uh, Picology, um, which is, sorry about the light, that's 25 also, so it's the same, roughly the same thickness as uh, the Picology, but a, uh, one of these quick picks, it's a Goso in this occasion. And get it at the same point. So that's 27. So 
bit thicker. And my trusty clump is, uh, is the fat boy of the, the bunch up to 32 thousandths. So, um, it's towards the, the slim end uh, of the set there. Okay, so I'm going to just change the setup here and uh, I'll have a go at using some of these uh, some of these block picks. All right, let's give some of these tools a, a try. I'm going to use the Z tensioning tool. One thing this kit does lack is a good variety of tensioning tools, and you would need um, to get to get some more. This actual kit wouldn't. Uh, Probably wouldn't work for every type of lock. Start off with the, uh, the WD rake. It's got us a full set pretty quick down this lock. Let's go in next to the stand hook. Handle feels quite small. Um, but these little pins perfectly, perfectly well. So it feels like it's making short work of this lock as well. Roughly the same size as the uh, the Southwold Slimline um, picks, which a lot of you guys are familiar with. If you've got the C2010 kit or similar. I'm kind of used to the, uh, the bigger clums and gozos. Okay, let's pick that open uh, using uh, the standard hook and uh, initially the uh, W rake. So to summarise, um, in my view, not a bad pick set. Not quite sure who it's aimed at. Um, I think um, for a beginner, um, they they're a bit too thin and uh, would just end up getting snapped quite quickly and uh, so it's probably more for an intermediate person who who likes shiny things and uh, likes hand finishing their own tools um, there's a lot of useful uh, tools in here and uh, i think uh, for me the, the actual case is uh, it's just such a nice compact uh, thing that you could just put in your pocket this particular set cost me £14.99. Uh, I think the retail price is £18.99, so it's about a pound per uh, per tool plus the cases included. So um, it's pretty good value um, for what you get. I think with some work uh, on on the tools of your choice, uh, with some sandpaper and what have you, they would be uh, quite usable. If you'd like to win. Uh, this set, I'm going to run a, a small competition on UKLS if you're on there, and uh, thank you for watching the review.